NOAA has released its official winter outlook. We may have a new tropical cyclone on our hands within the next 24 to 48 hours. And let's talk about the very cold weather pattern we have ahead as we move into November. It's October 20th, 2025. Let's get into the weather updates. NOAA or the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration has released their official winter forecast. You can see here they're expecting below average temperatures between the months of December and February through portions of the Pacific Northwest, Northern Rockies, Northern Plains, and Upper Midwest, and above average temperatures for much of the South and East. Precipitation Wise, they are expecting the south to remain drier than the north. This is typical with the La Nina because our subpolar jet does weaken as those waters along the equatorial Pacific cool, allowing our polar jet to become more variable and really pull a lot of that precipitation into the northern tier states, specifically up here, the northern Rockies and the Pacific Northwest and the Great Lake region and upper Midwest are expected to see above average precipitation. Although remember, this is an outlook. It's not a perfect science. NOAA does use years and years of analogs that they think have a comparable atmospheric setup to ours currently to get this data, so they're not pulling it out of thin air. The GFS does see a tropical cyclone forming in the Caribbean over the next 24 to 48 hours. Now, the latest run has it moving out over the open Atlantic, although there are some models that suggest it could head towards the states. If we take a look at our current European ensemble, you can see it does see this tropical cyclone forming as well, although we do see a separate tropical cyclone forming down here. Now, this one does look like it could meander a little bit off into the northwestern Caribbean before turning off and potentially impacting Florida. It's too early, so don't worry yet, but we should keep our eye on this because you can see what the ensemble are doing and our American model does suggest a close approach as well. Taking a look at what's going on here temperature wise across the states over the next week or so as we move into the middle of this week you can see that cold air or below average air pushing down in through the upper midwest down into the Ohio Valley and this could bring a little bit of moisture with it as well out to the east. The west begins to see a little bit of a warm-up and then as we move into this weekend we'll get another shot of cold air out west and that ridge will build back up into the plains. This is the same pattern we've been seeing for the last few weeks although we are expecting like I said a pattern change as we get into November. Here we go, a large blast of cold air potentially around Halloween. This would be October 29th, October 30th, and then October 31st. Now, where this moves in is going to be interesting because this cold air is associated with potentially a pretty strong storm system. This is a little bit far out, but you can see here as we get into around the 27th, 28th, and 29th, models are suggesting a potentially large bowling ball trough to bring some severe weather through Dixie Alley and maybe even a little bit of snow into the central plains. I think this system will actually move through a little bit quicker than models are suggesting, and if it does, some of this snow may actually be transferred a little bit farther out to the east, maybe into the upper Midwest or northern Ohio Valley, Michigan, Great Lakes region. Only time will tell though. One thing is for sure, most of the globals do see this large, powerful storm system moving in here around Halloween, and it is likely going to bring that severe weather and snow for some. Who? We're not quite sure yet. I appreciate you guys watching this video. If you like this type of content, feel free to throw me a follow or sub. I make posts like this every day, and I stream five days a week to try and answer all of your weather-related questions. I'll see you in the next video.